Hello, what I have here behind me is a very special car. I have the Blackfish 1969 Barracuda brought to us by Joe Cook, who is gonna tell us all about it here in a minute. Hello, Joe. Thank you for joining us today. More than welcome now. It's a 1969 340 Formula S Barracuda. I first bought this particular car in August of 1975. Uh, I'm the third owner, the fifth owner, and the seventh owner of this car. The original owner of this car actually owned budget rent a car in, in Nanaimo. He had it for sale outside of his shop, and that's where the second owner saw it. I went, you know, that, that looks pretty cool. And uh, that's when he bought it and built the crap out of it. And, and then you saw, found him and bought it from him? Yeah. So, so you got it, it was fully built up. Yeah. And you drove it at that time as your daily? Oh, oh, oh yeah, every day. When did you uh, let it go? About six years into ownership. A friend of mine offered me some money and I wasn't really driving it at that point. I was still working on the ocean as a fisherman. He bought it and, and I ended up building another car a 1970 Duster. Turned out really, really nice, but I missed my Cuda. And we ended up at the same party together now. <laughs> and uh, I was hoping that he would notice the Duster, and he did, he parked beside it. Oh, yeah. And so he asked me, hey, Cook, who owns that uh, Duster yeah, out there? Yeah, and yeah. I said, that's mine. And, and, uh, and he goes, I like it. So we traded the next day. I got my Cuda oh. back and he ended up with the Duster. Just and a straight trade. Straight trade. We, we just pink slips. Pink slips and traded done. it across. Oh, yeah, done deal, awesome. right? Awesome, yeah. And then about, again, another six years later, another buddy called me and said, do you still have that black Cuda? And uh, he says, well, you think about selling? I said, I started thinking about it. And I went, you know, I'm not driving the car that much anymore. I was mm -hmm. still on the ocean, still fishing. So I came back. I said, come and take a look at it, Andrew. He paid me for it. And and uh, drove off with my car and I regretted it ever since. And I called him, you know, oh, no. I called him and called him and called him <laughs> because the condition was if he ever sold it, yep. I'd be able to buy my car back. And eventually I wore him down. Yeah, <laughs> the phone calls just didn't just stop. Just didn't stop, <laughs> you know. So he said, you better come and take a look at this car. I don't think it's the way you remembered it. And he opened up the garage and it was a mess. This car was completely inhabited by mice. And what wasn't left in the seats, because you could put your hand in the seat and you looked okay, but there was no foam. It was all in the headliner. They were and living what, in the headliner. Yeah, and gotcha. what, when they weren't in the headliner, they were in the engine compartment. Mm. So you couldn't see the engine for rodent nests and mess. They destroyed the entire inside of the car. He had left it outside for a number of years as well and the environment kind of got to the metal. There was a few rust holes in it, and it was a big job to get it back to the state. You can and never it, tell nowadays. It was on a rotisserie yeah. for about two and a half years. Every nut and bolt was taken off of this car, and when it went back together, it went back together, what I think uh, was very, very professionally. Yeah. And, uh, and as it would come Body out Body lines, the, the shape, the yeah. trim, everything yeah. is just, it's, it's slick. Yeah. Yeah. It's nicely done, everything's perfect. The restoration guy uh, was almost did it single-handedly, and uh, he owns the shop called Procraft Restorations in Duncan. Procraft Restorations. Yeah, yep. and he did everything on this car. His name was Lester, Lester Brannick, and I think he's an artist. Yeah, an artist. I would think so. Yeah. Break time, be right back. You want to build your next vehicle, whether it be a 4x4 overland rig, a performance street car, or a lifted truck. We'll walk you through every step of the build to ensure your dreams become your reality. To get started, send us in to Corey at techcustoms.com. Everything that went back into it now is all Mopar. There's wow. no other part from any other manufacturer, any other country other than the United States and Canada that went into this build of this car. So it's a very special car. Yep. It's back to factory black. It's an X9, X9 car, which means black top, black bottom. Um, it, it's got black interior. And in, in an era where high impact cars were starting to become more recognized in the sales of Mopars, it was unique to see an all black car with the satin black stripe. A lot of the cars in 69, 1969 would have had a higher impact 
stripe, like mm -hmm. a white stripe, a red stripe, uh, that would pop off of the thing. But this one was actually done up a little bit more subtle. Um, I think Mopar back in the day, they treated us well with this particular car. All original glass in this car. Uh, and, and if you take a look at the date code uh, on the glass, it's all August of 1968. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. Where did you find it? All over the United States. It's whoever had it. And the passenger side glass yeah. uh, was the hardest piece to find because 1960, kind of a one-off year, it's kind of a unique to this particular model and year, and it's uh, it was hard to find. And you, you tracked know? it. I, I got one. Yeah, I got one. Yeah. The body is just perfect. It's uh, perfect. Yeah, well, I, those are your reverse lights here? Yeah, yeah, those those lights are actually uh, factory original um, NOS, and they are, uh, they, they are glass, Nev. If you take a look at some of the newer uh, builds that come out in today's world, mm -hmm. you can't buy glass anymore. Correct. They have plastic lenses, yes. right? So yeah. this is all original. This particular emblem right here is, is, is another unique part of the car. And that is a factory original uh, Formula S badge on uh, tail badge. So, it's and the Formula S is it stands for what? what the suspension. What is... okay. It's the suspension package on this car is heavy duty suspension. Uh, the engine, of course, being a 340 in, that, in this era, would have been a high performance engine with a high performance suspension package. Being the Formula S car, I had everything replated. Yeah. The entire grilled surround. It looks beautiful. Everything has been totally reconditioned or bought from a person that had NOS parts. And then they would either restore them or you would restore them. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. What kind of tires do you have on front and back? Well, they're era correct uh, wheels. Um, they're the Krager SS uh, on the front and the back. Uh, they're five on four, which is kind of a unique uh, to, to Mopar only. Four inch bolt pattern, five, five bolts. You to hold it, yeah, yeah. Okay. They, they, it's a four-wheel power br drum car, uh, which is the heavy-duty uh, drums on this car. They're 10 on the front, 11 on the back. And you st it still has those on there, yeah, right? Everything. Yeah, it's all original. Um, uh, How does it feel breaking with something like those? It's a little spongy compared to today's yeah. cars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. brake pads it, and all that. Yeah, but the, the, <laughs> I mean, it, for the year, uh, it works really, really well. The rear tires are the same size or are they a little the, bit No, big? they're 14 eights on the back and 14 sixes on the front. And uh, the, the, the back wheels I had cut and made uh, specifically for this car so they would never ever rub. Uh, Beautiful. Now. Yeah, yeah, so. And so you were mentioning that uh, off the line, this thing is just great because it's, it's lighter than it's most. It's a very, very light car. This car doesn't sit and spin on the, uh, when, when, you, when you torque it up. It, it has one revolution of those rear tires and it's gone. It's a Barracuda and it flies. So, Beautiful, and yeah. what transmission does it have? It's got a 727 um, automatic with the uh, reverse manual shift body and, and a shift plate, what they call a plate in it. And uh, so it's a little aggressive um, for a shift and it, it's with the reverse shift pattern on the column mm -hmm. it's kind of like the old school of the paddle shift so you oh. so you when you drop down you drop into higher gears gotcha so you would start with drive being first second being second and uh, first being the drive the final drive and, and this car I, I put a uh, gear vendors overdrive system in it uh, mm -hmm. so it's a little more friendly on the freeway okay, uh, a little with, more fuel efficient too maybe yeah well it's, I run 391s uh, uh, okay. Gear ratios in the back, which is uh, a okay. kind of a, a steeper uh, gear for uh, for uh, you know uh, uh, <laughs> today's cars. And uh, well, yeah, because our Ram truck's got a three nine three nine two. Yeah, but you've got an eight-speed transmission in that truck, and this has got a three-speed uh, yes. tranny with the overdrive, yes. right? So okay. yeah, it's a little <laughs> quite a bit different. This little motor is one of those engines they called the Hemi Killer. Oh, the Hemi Killer? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What do you mean? That little motor put out uh, a rated 275 uh, factory horsepower. Uh, that everybody feels it was very, very light um, on the, the rating. Yeah. And, and that that motor will actually uh, stand up to itself against a lot of big blocks. And that's just a 340 cubic inch engine. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of it's got the high performance. Um, high flow stock exhaust manifolds, which are again, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're beautiful. They, yeah, they're they're unique. Uh, they're hard to find and Mopar did it right. They they had a high flow 
um, exhaust uh, in 1969 without the use of headers. So, kind of cool. Mopar has done muscle cars from then until now. Yes. And they're still going. The Challenger, like you were t telling me earlier, it's, it's still going. It's still one of the top selling muscle cars in the market yeah. and it holds its own. Yeah. It, if not hold its own, it'll take on most uh, any any other manufacturer, uh, Chevy, Ford, Mopar. You put the Challenger Demon against them. Oh, yeah. It's like, okay, you got the something. Demon. Right? But <laughs> they all started back in the 60s and 70s with these with these little cars and uh, with, with a lot of horsepower and not much weight. Can we take a look on the inside now? Oh, the absolutely. interior is beautiful. How much does this car weigh, Joe? About 2,900 pounds. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's just, that's just beautiful. And you were mentioning you had the interior all redone, restored properly, right? Yes, the, it's all a legendary uh, interior that was purchased. All the, it's a package that I bought out of a company called Legendary Interiors out of New York. Everything in here is redone except for the, what you have your hand on. Those are the Original? way, those are originals, yeah. And they're in great shape. Yeah, yeah, oh, those are originals, awesome. yeah. Same as the, the steering wheel. The wheel is a factory original um, steering wheel and a shift column, but they're kind of like, kind of neat. And it, well, nice thing, I don't know if you noticed this, but even the uh, floor mats have oh, got their little- Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the cool? original floor mats. Yeah. Oh, for the, goodness. for somebody that really wants to learn how to, <laughs> <laughs> Operator 1969. Yeah, Plymouth Barracuda the, manual. It's the original. And look, uh, take a look at that yeah. Chrysler. <laughs> yeah. That's just beautiful. Yeah, yeah there you oh, go. Wow. So, it has, uh, it has a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, really neat stuff, this car, and, and I'm really, really proud of it, and, I, and I've uh, never stopped loving it. It's so beautiful, and thank you so much for letting us have, uh, have time with you and your car today. Thank you very much. We really much. appreciate it, Joe. Break time! Be right back! You got everything you need to get outfitted and roll in style right here at tagcustoms.com. I'm talking wheels, rims, tonal covers, mud flaps, anything you need right here at tagcustoms.com. You're home for everything, parts, and accessories. You guys, thank you so much for joining us today on 1969 beautiful Barracuda. This Mopar car is just absolutely stunning. Again, we thank you so much, Joe, for the community. We would love to have another highlight for another Mopar car. If you want to bring something about, please let us know, reach out to us so we can showcase your car as well.